Hi guys, it's Pianos Programmer here once again and you're welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been a couple of weeks on this channel and yeah, I'm back with another great stuff from GarageBand. Of course, GarageBand. Definitely, I'll be doing more tutorials on different softwares very soon. I want to also explore the Android operating system and find music apps that looks like GarageBand which I'm going to demo in coming weeks. But today, we are still talking about GarageBand and what I have for you today is pretty, pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. So I had this idea of just doing some sort of song with just live loops. So Apple has provided a lot of loops in, in their library, which I find very, very useful. So me going through them, I just thought one day, okay, what if we could do a song entirely with just the live loops, no additional instrument. As you can see right now, I don't have any instrument with me. I don't have any MIDI, neither do I have a piano. So let's get right into this and see how creative we could get. All right, as you can see on my screen, it's just a new project and this project has a BPM of 82 and it's in C major. So right now, I'll just go to the Apple Loops and the Apple Loops is somewhere around here. And the first thing you need to do is, um, you need to find the kind of loop that fits into your key because that's one very important thing. So uh, the first thing I did when I was searching for this was just try some stuff out. Okay. Um, I usually would start from my piano because yeah, I like piano a lot. So, uh, I'll just search for piano, piano, uh, piano, 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 or I could do, okay. Yeah. This is a piano. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, so I have something in my head already just listening to this. It's like, Da 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 Okay, so what I can do now is just drag that in. So I just drag this in. Yeah, and that's loop already. So I can loop this. Okay, something else. Uh, now that I've got the piano, the next thing, of course, is find a beat, like a drum beat or something, to this stuff. Um, let me look for by instrument. I can filter and go to drums. Uh, something talkish. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me try this. I don't like that. So let me try this one. Yeah, this has like the African feel. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So I'll just also drag that in. Just delete this track. It's gone. Okay. Now let's hear that sound. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, the next one I want to also do sort of maybe another drums. I could look for something else like um a guitar like guitar guitar ah there's a tone of guitars here let's just see that's not in the key yeah something else i must say is that uh, these loops for instruments they have like 
a chord pattern like chord sequences so you need to find the right one for the chord sequence that you have so this stuff right now is like so like that so i will not go for something of la or fa do something like that i won't do that i have to find the one that fits into this one and i kind of found that guitar is like um a prismatic prismatic something so yeah let's let's try this out so you can try that as you're playing as well oh cool nice so that goes so i also drag that in so now i have three loops and yeah what i can hear is pretty cool right now so let's try that nice oh. okay so i can duplicate this and also duplicate this one so that we could have it like throughout okay so yeah okay um i still need to look for something to really pop this drum because it's not there yet like i need that percussion or something and latin percussions are always that thing that i look for so latin uh okay this is not pop enough it's not popping enough uh we can try this we'll probably need this one later Let's see. Ah, cool. But then that's not what I'm looking for, but it goes. It really goes. Nice. Maybe this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, just drag that into and duplicate that so many times. Okay, so now. So, so far, this is sounding already amazing to me and if you're going to make a complete song with just these live loops, of course, you will not use all the sounds at the same time. So maybe in your verse, you could lay out the piano and guitar only, and you just begin to spread them out gradually until you use them all. So I'm looking for something like a synth sound because I always like that for my chorus. I can search for synths here and something that would go with my piano because usually when there are loops on the apple loops they always have them like a pack so look at this name here hand in hand piano would probably have something like that for a synth so i want to check that yeah and yes they do this is so that doesn't go that also doesn't go nice so we can drag this in let's listen to how that would sound for a chorus nice 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 The last thing uh, I would really like here, it's a, it's a riser. I always like riser, like shh, all those riser effects. Riser effects are really good to kick off your verses or your chorus or your ending or something. 
right? So I'm looking for a riser. I found one called free fall, free fall reverse. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You can imagine that. Ah, it's sounding dope. So I could just drag it in and I think that should do that should do it for me and just make this cool. So I have something like this now. Okay, so that's cool. So the last thing I want to do is, yeah, just probably have like a, a small vocals on this, like a hook, something that would really make sense. So I wrote this a couple of days ago. It says another day, another way, another place, everything that I do, don't know my faith, but I've got some faith. Jesus, I'm a trust you. Yeah, Jesus, I'm a trust you. Okay, so let me try this out now. As you can see, I don't have any mic, no condenser mic whatsoever, no gear. So I'm not going to record my vocals. I'm just going to layer my voice on this beat right here. Have a listen. Another day, another way. Another place, another thing I do. Oh, that was killing actually. I think that key is too high for me. So let me change it. I'll be comfortable in C for something like this. And yeah, this key is D major right now, which is not what I need. I need C major so I can change that. Yeah, something I should say is that beautifully, Apple Loops has been designed to fit into any key that you use on this DAW. As I just change the key from D to C, reducing that by tone, everything in this project now is in C. Everything. I, when I say everything, I mean everything. So here it's in C now. You can see that that reduced by a tone, of course. That feels better for me to sing in now. I, I, I feel more comfortable to sing in this key. So let's try it out. Another day, another way, another place, and everything I do. Don't know my faith, but I've got some faith. Don't be too late, Jesus, I'm a trust you. Ooh, yeah, sounds like a good hook. Jesus, I'm a trust you. So, this is just to show you the endless possibilities of what you can do in Garage Band. Like I used to say, it's good to start small and it's good to start with whatever you have. You don't need all the fancy gadgets in this world to make music. And like the purpose of this video, I just used Apple Loops only. And if I continue with this project now, I can spread out all these loops and make a cool song of it with even these lyrics I have. So try your hands on Apple Loops. First of all, you want to select the key, the tempo, I mean the BPM, and find a particular loop that fits into the chord lines that you want, and then other loops that also fit into that first chord line that you want as well, because like I said before, not all the loops fit into chord lines, especially the loops that have to do with instruments and not drum sets. So. That will be all for this video. If you have any question, you can drop them in the comment section. I'll be very glad if you come up with your own version of Apple Loops alone without any other instrument. Make it a challenge for yourself. When you're done, whatever it is you are able to come up with, either a full song in the MP3 or you upload as a video showing what you did with the garage band, you can send me a link in the comment section. Also, don't forget, to give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it ultimately hit that subscribe button those of you that have subscribed to my channel recently i want to say a big thank you to you i'm amazed by the love that you guys are showing me on my channel the numbers are growing rapidly so yeah if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it it gives you notification when i post a new video until next week bye bye